Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve or rather prove a very tricky looking puzzle which is what 3 equals to 6. Now in this case, how do we do this? Okay, so this is very very tricky. Please understand here in this case what you can do is you can use any of the mathematical signs. It can go from what multiplication, division, subtraction, addition, everything, raise to whatever. Okay, all the mathematical signs can be used but the only thing you need to remember is that you can't add new numbers to the equation. Okay, now the problem is that since they've already told us that you can use these signs, all of these signs, but you can't use or add new numbers. If you can't do that, then there's no point of using these signs because what you will multiply to 3, you will multiply to 3, 2, then only you will get the value as 6, right? But we can't add new numbers. Okay, so then again that becomes a tricky job. Then in this scenario, what you should do? Please understand, here these are the kind of questions which are little bit uh, asking you to think outside the box. Okay, so what you do over here is we will use the concept of factorial. Now what is factorial? Whenever if you found, have to find factorial of let's say n. Okay, so you will start with what n? Then you go one digit lesser than n. Okay, so then you again multiply with what? n minus 2 and you will go on up to you get the value of 1. So if you had to find the value of uh, let's say 8 factorial, you would have started from 8, then go 7, then 6, then multiply by 5, then 4, then multiply by 3, then 2 and then 1. So this is how you get a factorial. So here if I put a 3 factorial, now 3 factorial is nothing but what you start from 3, go to 2, then 1. Here, your answer then comes out to be 6. So, therefore, I can say 3 factorial is now equal to 6. So, this is how you can prove that. Now, for your DIY, I want you all to tell me what will be 2 and 3 2s. How you can make these 3 2s equal to 6. This one is a very simple one. Please let me know your answers in the comment section. And also, if you want me to do more of these kind of questions, please type a yes in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.